video on how to curl short hair. I am currently growing my hair out. Um, I had a really short bob probably, I don't know, maybe like a year ago or so. So now I am growing it out. And so I have, as you can see, like some shorter layers in through here. And it, you know, it's kind of a little funky here on the ends. And so I usually curl it most every day. I don't like my hair straight as well, so I curl it a lot. So I thought I would just do a video for you guys, kind of uh, showing you some tips and tricks on how to kind of get some fun waves in there with shorter hair because shorter hair is definitely a little bit more difficult to curl sometimes. And I thought I would come to the rescue and help you guys out. So basically all I'm doing is I am going to take a section maybe like an inch above my ears and I'm just going to pin up this top section and all I have in my hair is um, the seven seconds leave-in detangler that's all I have in my hair currently so basically what I do is I take about like an inch or slightly over an inch section. I'm going to take that same um, size section through the entire head and I start at the base and I just kind of curl those ends in and I just leave as you can see just the very ends out. It will determine um, how much you leave out based on how long your hair is. So my curling iron also is a one inch and if you have a little bit longer hair than mine, you know, like maybe like to about here, like a little bit past your collarbone, you might want like a one and a fourth inch. I usually will use a little bit bigger uh, curling iron if I'm using, or if you have longer hair. And my curling iron is set to 300 degrees. I strongly encourage um, everybody that curls your hair or strains your hair a lot to get a flat iron or a curling iron that has some kind of temperature gauge so that you know how hot you're getting. Over 300 degrees, you're really just frying your hair. A lot of people think that it's just gonna be quicker and easier, so they turn it up really high, um, but it really is frying your hair. So I always kind of encourage people to just keep it under that 300 degree range. So I always go away from the face as you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, so on this side again I've switched sides and I'm going to go away from the face, leaving that ends out. And like I said, I always start at the base and then kind of just gradually start rolling the ends in and then I'll just kind of when I drop it kind of pull that section down so it doesn't get too tight of a curl. I really encourage you guys, actually I dare you guys, to get your curling iron out right now and if you have never curled your hair like this where you start at the base and you roll the ends in, then I dare you to get your curling iron out right now and do this with me. And you do not have to have your iron on, you can even just have it off and just kind of practice this motion because most people are taught a completely different way. And so that is the hardest part of this, is starting at the base and working your ends in. It would seem or look like it would be easy, but for some reason, it's not for a lot of people because it's just porn. So I would definitely encourage you guys to kind of just practice that even while you're watching the video with your curling iron off just so you can kind of get an idea and a feel for what it feels like. And as you can see, like I'm barely here. Let me this hair here. I'm like barely opening this to kind of get those ends in. And then I don't really touch that section. I just kind of leave it and at the very end then I will run my fingers through it all. So now I'm taking another section. And really how many sections you're going to take is kind of based on how thick your hair is. You, If you have really fine hair, you may be able to do this in just two sections. If you have really thick hair, you may feel like you need to take four. So it just kind of depends. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing 
on this section that I did. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I have shorter layers, so I'll kind of show you guys, if you have shorter layers, what you're gonna do on that top section because sometimes my top section gets a little crazy because those shorter layers, where if you have like a really traditional bob or like a long bob, uh, it would be a little bit easier and your ends would not get as crazy on that top layer. And as you can see, I don't leave the curling and iron in that long. So basically once I get to the very back, like center of the head, I will switch to the other side. And again, going away from the face always. Kind of leaving those ends out. And I'm pulling that down. You can kind of get the same look as well with longer hair. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to get this kind of wave with long hair as well. But I thought I'll just do a short haired video first and then I'll do the long hair. Um, I just currently ordered a Babilis Pro curling iron in a one and a fourth inch. So if you, like I said, have much longer hair than this. Um, kind of to that collarbone, like past the collarbone, I would definitely do a one and a fourth. Otherwise, if it's a little bit shorter, like my length, um, or just maybe a little bit longer, definitely do like a one inch. So, but I just ordered that from a new one from Amazon. So I'm really excited. It's on its way. And once I get it, then I'll do a video on, uh, curling or getting a wave for, I think I'm going to have to recurl that guy for long hair, so. I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback or comments, so if you have questions, or if I kind of forgot to mention something in the video, definitely comment. I would love to hear from you, or if you guys have ideas for um, other videos that you would like me to do. So now on this top layer, I just leave that front piece out and I'm going to take this section back here. And I kind of, as you can see, I don't go all the way like right up to the base on that top layer. I kind of just bend the ends just slightly. Like I said, if I had longer, like if my layers kind of matched to my bottom length a little bit more, I could do, you know, pretty much exactly how I do the rest of them, but I find that sometimes that top layer just doesn't quite cooperate if I do it like the rest of them, rest of the layers. So I have to improvise. So if you have short layers, you may have to improvise as well. So. This curling iron is the Paul Mitchell Ion Express, I believe, um, and I do, I really like that one. It goes through the hair really smooth, but um, like I said too, the Babilis Pro irons are awesome and they're really affordable. This was definitely a little bit more expensive, where the Babilis is great because they're an amazing iron and they're really pretty inexpensive if you buy it off of Amazon, so thank you, Amazon. If you're like my husband and I, we are very obsessed with Amazon. My husband might be slightly more obsessed with Amazon, though. He's pretty addicted to Amazon, so. It's, like, very rare that we don't have a package on our doorstep every day from Amazon. Yeah. Very rare. Okay, so on these front pieces, all I basically do is I kind of go up as close to the scalp, especially if you have those little tiny hairs kind of right around your hairline. Um, it helps kind of smooth those and then I just kind of bend those ends back. Now if you have longer framing than what I have, um, you could do like the curl that I've been doing 
on that front section, but because my framing is a little bit shorter, if I do that full curl, it just kind of looks weird. So I don't, but I am growing this out. So <clears throat> as um, this grows a little bit longer. So like I said, if you have longer framing, like maybe, you know, like jaw length or a little bit longer, you could do like the normal curl. So now I just kind of run my fingers through it, make it really messy and fun. You can even make those crazy faces too. And then I spray a little bit of like a texturizing spray. This is the Unite Texturize a Spray. Um, I love this spray. Um, Orbe has a really good one too. If you have ever used Orbe products, they have a dry texturizing shampoo that is amazing. Um, that also is like considered a dry shampoo so that's kind of nice too it's a dual purpose product um so i just kind of spray it a little bit kind of scrunch it obviously the more that you use the more texture and like tousled and pc it's going to be so sometimes too like the first day if i just do this i won't maybe use like as much if you're a person that doesn't wash their hair every day like me uh, sometimes then on the second day, it can be maybe a little too gritty. It's really about just being messy and tousled, and, which is super fun. I love it. And then, too, like if you have pieces that are not like quite cooperating after you've ran your fingers through it, you can always kind of go back in and redo some pieces. Sometimes I'll just even like take pieces and just kind of re-curl them so it gives you some pieces that are really loose and then some that have a little bit more of a uniform curl to them. You can really just kind of do all kinds of fun things. So really, that's all I do. As you can see, it's just really fun, messy, and like I said, the more texturizing spray that you use, the more tousled it's going to be. It's going to look even a little bit more disheveled if you use a little bit more texturizing spray. But um, yeah, I love this look. This is really a look that I wear a lot because it's just easy. And as I said in the first part of this video, I'm growing my hair out, so that makes it really difficult sometimes to wear it smooth and it look right because I'm just kind of at one of those awkward stages. So, and then again, I am going to do a long haired video like how to get this curl with long hair as soon as I get my new curling iron. So, I'm really excited. Also, February, I actually am going to be going out to California to do some more hair training out there, and I am going to be getting a full set of extensions, so I'm really excited. I cannot wait to do a video for you guys in February about the extensions. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Um, I have a link below, and you can go there, and you can read my blog. I fashion blog. You can read about me. You can read about the extensions that I do and what makes them different. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later.